What's up, people? So it's another beautiful day in paradise. We are going to our last spot, Grenada. We were playing the dentist. <laughs> gonna be going to customs and immigration. I'm gonna do a checkout from here from Antigua. I'm going by scooter and it's a 40 minute ride by scooter. I'm not too excited because last time I went to St. John by scooter, I got really bad back pain because it was a bumpy ride and my culito got very planito. And I will be taking Alejo to the dock so he can do his thing and i'm not going because he's being a wonderful husband i'm a good and, captain you know and he's not making me do things that are going to be painful yes waves which is not that bad i mean considering what we have been motoring through since we left the bahamas this is not bad we're gonna have the wind on our beam so i think it's all gonna be positive a little nervous because it's very long it's the longest passage we have done it is but positive very positive it is 300 nautical miles if you guys want to come with me to the town please hit the like button and we're going. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Keep going. I will be going to my home. Bye, baby. Come. Okay, so we just got off the dock and we're gonna go to the street. So here in Antigua, people drive on the left side. Just if you guys didn't know, let's go. We might see wild donkeys. <laughs> 20 minutes into my ride and I got a flat tire. I knew it. So I brought two new tubes just in case. Flat tire. So I'm gonna take off the wheel real quick. It takes me like 20 minutes. I'm done, I'm done fixing the tire and we're gonna keep going to town. I'm done. Like new. Okay guys, so I was able to do the port authority, but the guys from immigration and customs, they left the office early at two, and I got there at 2.45. So I'll just have to do it tomorrow morning. But they told me that there was an office closer to where we are anchored. So I don't have to drive 40 minutes. It's like only 15 minutes. So I guess tomorrow morning we're on that mission. And yeah, now I'm gonna head back. Hopefully stop on a little supermarket, get some Oreos or something, something sweet for the trip. So our trip has come to an end. La, 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 la. Stop fighting. Stop, stop. What's up people? So day number two. Now today it's attempt number two to go to customs and immigration. And Andrea is gonna be coming with me.
And after finally doing the checkout, now we were ready to sail to Grenada. So we're leaving Antigua and Barbuda. We have our sails up. It's gonna be a pretty good sail. So we're going right now at six knots. We have about between 16 and 18 knots at an angle of like 60 degrees. So it's pretty upwind, but it's gonna be changing a little bit more on the beam. We got four foot waves every six seconds, so it's a little bit rough, but not too much right now. We have the main sail up. We have it in the first reef uh, because it's gusting like 22 knots between 19 and 22. So yeah, the full main, it can go up to 20 knots. So I'm not gonna push it. I prefer to reef it for now and then we'll see at night if the wind starts to die off, we'll put it up or we'll just leave it off reef for the whole night. Let me give you a little bit of the details of our sailing. So right now it's like about 4.30 and we're gonna be sailing like um, 320 miles which for us is about like two days and a half and hopefully we get lots of wind so we can go faster it will be shorter so today is wednesday we should be arriving thursday friday so maybe saturday morning we'll see if our cal calculations are right you know it's a sailboat we're going sailing so we can't predict the wind 100 percent and we're gonna try to sell as much because these passages we've been motoring a lot a lot and a lot and it's awful let's enjoy the boat people we'll try to share as much as we can with you guys you have the sails up we are like about two hours into our trip and we have the sunset we have Andrea. what's up everyone we have a full moon which is great because at night you could see the water and everything pretty pretty nice let me show you i think we expected it to be worse because of our our passage from usbi to antigua was really hard it was really really hard and we had like what five foot waves no less. four foot waves head on, head on four foot waves but head on and this time we have like 5.5 5 to 6 foot waves on our beam and so we were a little nervous about it but I think we are officially starting to become real sailors <laughs> Good morning YouTube! Day 2 of this passage Yesterday I did the ship from 12 to 4 so I did four hours, Alejo did for that, and then we did until now. We just went to sleep, and I think we should be really tired because now it's 9 a.m. And we are going to our last spot, Grenada, where we're going to be spending hurricane season. And this is actually super accomplishing for us because since we spent last year hurricane season in the United States, we said, okay, this is the last time we spent hurricane season in the United States. We are for sure not sending another one here. And you know, as we were going down, you know, there were some times where we didn't want to move and we were like, okay, we have to stick to the schedule so that we're able to make it to Grenada and we don't have to turn back and go back to the US. We will probably be coming back here because we had to skip all of this one because we were late for hurricane season, but also because COVID makes it really hard to get a test in every single island. You know, we had to get um, either if we had we wanted to enter to any of the islands, we had to get a COVID test, which every island charges about 200 bucks per COVID test. Every time you enter a new one, you have to get another COVID test. So it's a lot. We have to do a quarantine when we arrive to Grenada of seven days. We definitely have to come here to check out the Leeward Islands and definitely explore a lot more than we did because we kind of like did it halfway. So right there. Two o'clock and I don't know, the wind died said that we were gonna have like 16 knots of wind the whole way so we had to turn on one engine and we're going pretty slow we're going at like four knots there's barely any wind there's like four knots of wind i decided to put out my two fishing rods because in this we're covered by the, the mini guy i think it is and 
there was no seaweed. So I put two ballyhoos on my two fishing rods. Hopefully we catch something. So this is what I'm using. It's a ballyhoo. This one's I got in, I think it was in Dominican Republic by a friendly local. And he just gave them to me, he gave me like six. So I had them in the freezer. I'll keep you guys posted if we catch anything. Here in the Caribbean, you get a lot of squall. For you guys that don't know what a squall is, it's like a dark cloud. And usually you can see them. And once they approach, like they get near you, they're gonna bring a lot of wind and mostly rain. So it can be like 10 knots. And then all of a sudden you have 30 knots. That's a squall. So the wind is being very weird. It keeps shifting and shifting. And now we have 20 knots of wind. Woo! We're going pretty fast. We are. We're going at 7.5 knots. This is like exciting. Eight knots. Eight knots. We never go this fast. We're supposed to be going with the wind on our beam. That's how the great winds are. But the wind just changed almost against us and the waves are like straight head-on waves. 24 nudos! 24 nudos! 25! So we have to be very careful because even though we have the main sail reef, in the first reef, if it passes 25 knots, we need to go against the head-on against the wind. Alejo is taking off the, the line of the fishing rod so excited people this is the good part <laughs> this is why we bought the boat uh, for us eight knots is like if we were going i don't know like a hundred miles in uh in, in the car in the i-75 or something <laughs> well we don't fish any fishes we fish birds it's awful awful very stressful very stressful for the bird for us But luckily we got the nylon off and we got the the, the bird free. We got it off. Jesus. Guys, so that was a very stressful situation. Very stressful. We were trying to record, we were trying to get uh, the, uh, the bird untangled. We were trying to push away the dogs because the dogs saw the bird and they were like just on the bird, just trying to get the bird. Uh, we were trying to find scissors, so it was so many things happening, happening at the same time that it was really, really nerve wracking. But no, I mean, luckily the bird flew away. Uh, he was okay. Still doing pretty good, still sailing strong. We are going at 8.8 .8 knots. We've made it to almost nine knots in speed. We have 22 knots of wind. And how do you feel, Captain? Pretty excited. We're getting a lot of wind. We have like 27 knots, 28, going up to 29, 28 knots. So you can see the movement of the boat. It's crazy. Good morning, everyone. Hello. How are you all? And this morning, we woke up and we are passing through St. Lucia. St. Lucia? St. Lucia, I don't know how to say it, but yeah. We're passing through there, it's very calm, the wind, every time we pass one of the islands, the wind pretty much dies completely, so we have to motor. But it's okay, because I mean, we kind of get to like rest a little bit from the choppy waves and stuff when we're in between the islands, when there's a lot of squalls. And as you know, when we're sailing, when we're moving, if you've been watching us for a while, you know that I love listening to my podcast. 
and I just want to from some of the things that I learned this morning from listening I want to share them with you guys and that is that just as it is important for us to work out and take care of our body and stay super fit and stay healthy it's just as important to take care of our minds and to feed our mind things that are going to bring value and add something positive control our negative thoughts get rid of our negative thoughts so when we have anything that's like bothering us and you know someone cuts us off in traffic instead of us like focusing on oh my god what a horrible day i'm gonna have you know cutting those those thoughts off other people's problems are not really our problems and we shouldn't take them as if they were ours especially because we don't know what is going on in other person's lives instead fill our lives with love and with gratitude and i hope that helps you start your Sunday right and giving you a lot of positiveness and happiness so that you too can have an awesome day. We are still sailing. We had to turn on one engine. So we're motor sailing. I'm still trying to fish. But all I get is the seaweed on top of the sea. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions. So the lure can, I don't know, go deeper or something. Let us know what you guys would like to see on our next passage. It would be nice to hear from you guys. to Grenada and it is raining it's really choppy and we're getting really strong currents but I'll tell the captain will tell you all about it captain yes we are going against current and the wind has shifted so it's coming from the bow and we're getting in rain so I don't know if you can see it it's like pretty stormy weather I had to turn on the engine I pulled in the jib because we were getting gust of 25 knots and when I see rain and gust better to be safe than sorry we are already here this is us we're, oh that's us this little sailboat this is already Grenada we have to make it all the way there that should be about like another two hours or so it is day three night three of sailing to Grenada and I can already see Grenada but it's still so far but yet we're so close <laughs> and it's 3 a.m. in the morning and I really just wanted to arrive we just hit we just got caught like in a massive school 28 knots like all of a sudden I had to put the boat against the wind and Alejo came out running because the gym was like all over the place it's not that glamorous here you know just outside with a blanket, just looking at five little screens. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, that picture that you see where they're, you know, the couple's very wide in the catamaran and they're just looking at the, with the glasses of wine or champagne and yeah, that's not it, that's not how it goes. <laughs> Tired. Yeah? Yeah. What time is it? I don't know, what time? Like 6? Yeah, I think so. 6 a.m. We made it. We made it. We made it. <laughs> but this is a quarantine anchor. So it's supposed to be like only people that are doing the quarantine. And yeah, we'll see. We arrived this morning at 6 a.m. We yes. were exhausted, drained, hungry. We had no food whatsoever since yesterday. And Alejo basically ate all my food yesterday, so... <laughs> the captain has to eat, you know. <laughs> anyway, we went to do the check-in with the um, health department. And they don't do COVID tests on weekends. weekends. It's Saturday, so we're out of luck. Which means we have to be in quarantine for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday at 12 p.m. They're going to do our COVID test. And it's insane because we had to pay $200 per, 
protest in Antigua to get a negative COVID test, which was required to get here. And upon arriving here, we have to get another COVID test. After four days in quarantine, you have to do a test here in Grenada. They take into account the days we're at sea, which is four days. So, if yeah, but you still have to pay an additional test, which is a hundred and fifty dollars yes. each addition, yes. each test. Yes. Okay. So, so crazy. What's up, people? So today we are gonna go and take the COVID test since it's Monday. So we're gonna go do the COVID test, and then we have to wait two more days on the boat to get the results. people waiting to get a COVID test because on weekends they don't do COVID test so we had to wait right right <laughs> you're, you're, you're squinting right I'm squinting yes, yes. so relax yourself oh. <laughs> 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 How do you feel? <laughs> so baby, you got the COVID test. How was it? I had a blockage. My right nose. Out of blood. We're good. So we have to wait until Wednesday. That's when we're gonna get back the results. And we can be free. Free to roam around in this beautiful island and explore. Uy, mostrate estas muelas. So what did you do during quarantine, sir? Well, we, we were doing playing we were the, dentist. At the dentist. We were playing the dentist. <laughs> Just got the results. Well, we're going to get the results. And we're going to do a check in. And we can move our anchorages because this anchorage is very rolly. We're so excited to finally get the check in done. And poor dogs, man. They're dying to go to the beach. We haven't been able to take them out. So they're being, they've been stuck in the boat for an entire week. Once we get the check in done, thing to do, take the puppies to the beach. Whew. So, we have our health clearance, which means we are negative, COVID negative. We don't have COVID. And now we have to get customs and immigration done, and then we are free. Literally have nothing to eat. So the situation is pretty bad. 